Pisces, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from your angels. Now, Pisces, there is a new opportunity in your life and one that is... <laughs> Spirit's asking for you to really um, take note of, you know, this pivot that's going on in your life. We feel like the energy is shifting and you're being asked to focus into something else. Something that you least expected. That two of wands insinuates there's a new path in front of you, but perhaps maybe it's a path that you haven't gone down before. And so it's feeling a little bit... Um, nerve-wracking, right? It's feeling a little bit uh, uncertain, if you will. Now, the thing is with new paths is that it also requires different actions of our daily lives, uh, different habits, let's just say, right? And so whenever we are, what the Six of Swords insinuates is that we are resisting. We only resist if we do not feel confident, right? If we don't feel confident, we're going to resist. The only reason why we wouldn't feel confident is because we're not making the choices and actions and having uh, daily um, habits that uh, reflect the change that we're looking to see. So you just got to really kind of go back to the drawing board and be like, well, what the, if I'm, you know, it's like if you're going from like, say, uh, summer vacation to like back into school, it's like, well, obviously like your sleep patterns are going to change, your food choices are going to change. You know what I mean? Like things are, will will obviously change so that you have more mental power to be able to focus in the studies that you paid for, that you are, have the opportunity to go through, you see? So right now there's a new opportunity and it's requiring you to be aware of what might have you bound and not allowing you to move forward. This devil has all of the message here of addiction. And addiction is a very, uh, a very, um, uh, what's the word, popular, not popular, that's not the right word. Um, it's, 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 oh, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, addiction, it just runs uh, amongst the creatives because whenever we really enjoy something, we really do it. Whenever something makes us feel good, we really do it, right? We're zero to 100, empaths are zero to 100. So anytime something makes you feel good, you will continuously do it over and over, hence addictions, right? So, um, just know this and understand that the 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 good feeling that you uh, that you obtain from maybe having any type of addiction, food, drugs, alcohol, it's going to be so short lived that it won't be sustainable in the long run. What will be sustainable, though, is the focus on your purpose, the focus on the connection with spirit. That is a sustainable good vibe because once you once you recognize what it feels like to be guided by the universe, that feeling of bliss and joy, knowing it's always there for you, that is the most sustainable high vibe feeling uh, you could ever imagine. And it's really about getting back to that place. That is going to come right now, beautiful soul, from getting grounded. All right, that King of Cups brings the message of feeling grounded in your skin so that you feel confident and can go back to creating, right? When you are grounded, you are more connected. Okay, so... Right now, we would encourage you to um, drop the sugars, even fruit sugars. Just lay off the sugar for a little while, the carbohydrates, right? The processed, it, just, just get off of it, right? P root vegetables, you know, um, uh, plants, uh, uh, meats if that's what you choose, right? But just no sugars and no carbohydrates. Just to get off of them. You'll just feel better, even if it's just a cleanse, right? It's just a cleanse. You don't have to do it forever, right? You know, you're better off, you know, having cheese, I swear, than like processed carbohydrates, right? Because at least there's no sugar and there's no stimulation in the body. Obviously, do you what works for you you but having that little bit of a cleanse away from the sugars and the carbs will allow you to get a sense of calm and uh, you're getting you're being guided into abundance it's your natural birthright you don't have to try to get money you don't have to try to be successful you already are it's just about allowing right it's just about allowing and again having that connection to your higher power uh to uh, your higher self and a higher power right looking to the stars for your guidance is going to lead you towards your abundance always right always remember that always remember when you are feeling conflicted, when you are feeling stuck, when you are feeling challenged, when you are feeling exhausted, that is where you go back home, right? And for some, most of us, those are starseed lineages, um, but it's really just about connecting back to your center, connecting back to your heart so that you can become guided, right? It's really not about trying to control what path to go down. And we feel like right now you are trying to control a little bit too heavily. And this is why there's some uh, restriction here. This is why there's some resistance, right? So this four of pentacles here brings the message of control, being too controlling, on what path you should take, on what your life should look like, right? And that's going to only create resistance 
because it's never going to be you. You know what I mean? It's never going to be fully you unless you're creative and having a good time. It, it, you just know it's not, it's not your right place. Right. And that's why we say to you, just connect to a higher power. Right now, one message that's very significant here is claim your independence. And that really means disconnecting from the influences in your life for a little while, taking a social media break, taking a friend's break, taking a family break, because you're going to want to be in your own energy and your own frequency to be able to read what messages the universe has for you, right? You're going to have to like know thyself and it, your only way you're going to be able to know yourself is if you take space and time with yourself, right? So you can take the lead of your life and do the things that you want to do, do the things you actually want to do, but especially for us empaths that are in a relationship. I, I know, uh, you know, I know, right? When we're in a relationship. We do the same things as our partner, right? There's a time in my life I was eating the exact same foods as my husband. My husband's like, I don't know, like six foot, like 215. I'm like five foot two and 115, right? So how does that even make sense? But when we're in the energy of something, we just do it, right? You don't even think about it. You just do it, right? And once you're out of the energy of it, you're like, oh my gosh, what I do, right? It's always like that. So that's why it's so important. I realized that I had to claim my independence even from my beloved husband, because if I didn't take time in the day away where I connected to just myself, I would just say, yeah, babe, sounds great, right? Which I used to do. And then I used to like hate myself because I used to make all the wrong choices, right? For me, for me, right? So you might have an influence like that, um, coworkers, family members, what have you. What have you. Um, but either way, taking that independence, take, claiming your independence, taking that lead and beautiful soul, reclaiming your power. And that's really what it's about is reclaiming your power because your energy is your power source. But if we're giving our energy to things, okay, that don't serve us like this pesky devil addictions or, um, you know, what other, what others are doing, and we're really not doing what we want to do. Uh, that's going to, again, uh, limit us, right? Cause we're not going to be in our full power. So now is the time where we want you to allow and feel confident in your choices. Because when you allow money flows, matter of fact, write that down in the comments below. Let that, let, let that be your affirmation for the day. I allow and money flows. I allow and money flows. Now, what is allowance, right? How do we allow? Well, of course I want money to flow. Of course I allow it. But our energy reads differently at times. Uh, allowing is feeling confident, okay? And so that means that you have to feel confident in every uh, choice that you're making. Um, there was a, every moment of the day has to serve a purpose. Just recently, I had a moment in my day. I had a, a few hours in my day. You know, the morning is really packed. To the, the, the afternoon is, is, is pretty full, but I have time in the late afternoon where it really was, I was just watching TV. And I really am not into that. I, I'm not really, uh, I think that's a waste of time personally, right? And so I wasn't content with it. And because I wasn't content with it, I was overeating because when you overeat, when you're not doing anything, right? You just go back to familiar patterns. And so, um, and, 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 and this kind of will create addictions too, is when you, we are not doing anything, right? That is on purpose, right? And I needed that, uh, something else, right? To give that, that allowed me to feel more on purpose. Uh, and then I was guided by, of course, the grace of God and spirit to, um, uh, you know, show me what, my path is for that chunk of time happened to just be getting back on the P90X program. And if any of you know, you know, and if you don't know, oh, you got to give it a try. The P90X program is an incredible home workout uh, program. And I really needed that intensity in the evening time to satisfy my soul. Right? So that was me recognizing that I needed change and then allowing spirit to kind of show me the way, um, just because I wasn't going to let it get me down that feeling. I was like, I know change needs to happen. I'm going to let spirit guide me. Right. So just allow again, confidence. And, and when you allow again, money flows and money is abundance, right? So see the bigger picture. Sometimes we get caught up in eating and drinking and, and drugs and all that, just because we're not able to see the bigger picture, right? That there is a, a, a grand master plan implemented here, and it's always going to serve you. And it's always going to be to have you for you to have what you want, no matter what, right? Spirit is always conspiring on your behalf. So don't get caught up in trying to figure it out or trying to please someone or prove someone. If anything, spend more time with yourself connection, connecting, and then take the lead on the things that you want to do, right? So have a soak in a bath, you know, Pisces being a water sign, water will really be a way that you can uh, open up your channels. So we would recommend, uh, again, soaking in that bath when you're in the shower, when you're under the water, uh, you can say things like, I intend to cleanse my energy and, uh, and really just be present in that moment. Um, really just to, uh, have the intention of connection because that's connection, uh, to your internal state is always going to serve you, but we're not connected to our internal state, um, 
when we are, uh, when we're feeling empty, we don't want to connect to our internal state. And that's when we look to our external world to fill that void, right? Through food, drugs, shopping, and, 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 and alcohol and all that stuff. Um, but when you have the intention to connect, that's when all of that's going to be filled in and no longer will you have that void and you'll be back on purpose. Your angel message for today is have confidence and your angels saying to you now, moving forward does not mean, not, does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God, source creator is enough along with knowing that God, source creator works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers and we will buoy your courage and faith. God is definitely guiding you. So is spirit, so is angels. Everyone is guiding you. If you ever feel like they are not, that's just because you, you're not taking the lead on something in your life. And in order to take the lead on something in your life, you have to claim your independence for a short little while, decompress, relax when you feel peace in your body. With that is when the energy is going to start to flow. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there are messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.